Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of technical analysis on Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets, and more specifically, I want to continue talking about this little flag pattern that Bitcoin is currently in. Perhaps you could call it a uh, falling trading channel, perhaps you could call it a falling wedge, however you want to draw this. We're going to be talking about this pattern some more in today's video, because I think it's very important for understanding where Bitcoin is going to be going over the next couple of days. So in today's video, I'm going to be drawing parallels between this kind of flag, trading channel, pennant, whatever you want to call it, and what we've seen in the past on Bitcoin. And we're also going to be talking about Bitcoin shorts, because as we can see here on the hourly chart for Bitcoin shorts over here on Bitfinex, they have fallen off the metaphorical cliff. And a lot of times when you see shorts drop that quickly, then normally Bitcoin is about to do something interesting. And it's kind of surprising that Bitcoin hasn't already, but we're going to be talking about what that might mean a little bit later on in today's video. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider dropping a like hitting that subscribe button and smashing the notification bell, guys. It does help out the channel when you do it, and I would be appreciative if you did it. But without much further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Bitcoin is currently trading around $3,574, and every second that passes by, Bart is getting much, much wider. He's starting to look like Homer Simpson because yesterday he was about this wide, the day before he was about that wide. Nevertheless, Bart Simpson, if Bart Simpson ever is actually formed, is going to be one thick boy. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump on over to the coin, on over to coin market cap. I can speak where we will see that Bitcoin is currently trading around $3,630. It's down by about a quarter, uh, it's down by about an eighth of a percent today. Nothing really major, of course. We've seen Bitcoin have this breakout and trading sideways. And a lot of times when you see the sideways trading, not a whole lot is obviously going to be happening in Bitcoin. And the same is true for the rest of the cryptocurrency market. Not a whole lot going on in the top 10. We see some we see some gainers, we see some losers. Litecoin's down 3%. Uh, EOS and Ethereum are up over 1%. Nothing really major. If we sort by change over the last 24 hours here, we're going to see MOAC and uh Bitcoin ripoff number seven is up in the double digit green. And I'm joking there. I know some of you guys are fans of Bitcoin private. That was a joke. Don't go get don't don't go get all upset in the in the comment section. It was a joke. We don't see any double digit losers in today's video, but we do see that about half of the market is green, half of the market is red. Perhaps we see a little bit more green than red. Nothing really all that major going on. Anyway. Like I said, there's not a whole lot going on in coin market cap, so let's go ahead and jump on back into the technical analysis here on Bitcoin. And what I want to do in today's video is compare this breakout and then subsequent bull pennant. Uh, well, actually, really, this is really a bull flag, to be totally honest. What it is, we have a bit of a downward uh, zone of resistance right there, kind of a downward zone of support. We're basically looking at a bull flag here. That's essentially what we're looking at. So let's go ahead and look at other times in history, in recent history especially, where Bitcoin has gone into this kind of pattern and look to see what has happened after Bitcoin has gone into this pattern so that we can have some historical precedent for our technical analysis when we're trying to decide how Bitcoin is going to respond this time. We have a couple of good examples of this recently. We see two major times where Bitcoin rallied and went into kind of a bull pennant or into a bull flag, excuse me. Bitcoin had a nice little rally here where it broke out of a consolidation pattern and we traded sideways in a, in a very similar way to how we have recently traded sideways but in this in this case bitcoin broke bullish it didn't break very bullish if we look here with our ruler we only broke a couple of percent about four percent at the maximum and bitcoin traded sideways for a day or so and then broke bearish the same thing is true if we look more recently or a little bit longer ago excuse me where bitcoin broke bullish out of a larger consolidation pattern had a much more substantive uh, bull flag form there we saw this kind of flag here. You can draw this however you want, but the point is it looks something like that. And we saw Bitcoin do that, and it didn't really mean a whole lot because it didn't mean that Bitcoin was going to continue moving to the upside because Bitcoin actually broke bearish here. And in fact, it broke bearish twice. It broke bearish once, made another little kind of pit stop, and then broke bearish again. So the last two times that we've seen Bitcoin break out and then have this little kind of bull flag form, Bitcoin has, in fact, lost the, the valuation that it, it had already built. So what we're looking at here is we have a trend of Bitcoin breaking out, going into bull flags, and then breaking bearish rather than breaking bullish. A lot of times in technical analysis, you would actually expect Bitcoin or whatever chart you're looking at to break bullish in this scenario. But recently, that hasn't been what's happening. And a large part of the reason for that is simply because Bitcoin hasn't had the bullish momentum to carry out two breakouts let alone one, the first breakout being this one and then the second breakout being that one. There just hasn't been enough bullishness in the market. And really, there hasn't been an, enough volatility and volume in the market to carry out those kind of moves. Bitcoin has kind of just been trading hands between bulls and bears, bulls and bears, and moving back and forth rather than seeing the kind of sustained uh, bull and bear rallies that we were seeing earlier on in 2018, for example, back over here where the momentum and the initiative would be firmly in the hands of the bulls for a while, then firmly in the hands of the bears, then firmly in the hands of the bulls. We haven't really seen that in six months or so because the volatility and the volume and the retail investor interest, all those technical, all those fundamentals, excuse me, have been relatively weak. 
One place that we can look for an example of what should normally be happening in this scenario is back over here in late July of 2018. We saw that Bitcoin would break bullish, kind of go into this little sideways trading action for a little while, break bullish again, trade sideways here for a little while again, break bullish, trade sideways, break bullish. That's typically how you see a breakout happen if you're looking for a slightly longer term breakout. You'll see it kind of move in, stair, in a, like a stair step pattern. We'd see where Bitcoin would break bullish, sideways, bullish, sideways, bullish, sideways, bullish, sideways. That's typically what you see if you have enough bullish momentum to sustain that kind of thing. And if we were to see a similar thing in Bitcoin, perhaps we'd see a bullish breakout, maybe some sideways trading, bullish breakout, a little bit of sideways trading, bullish breakout. I personally don't think that Bitcoin has the excuse me, the momentum and the bullish support at the moment to see another sustained bullish breakout because it is going to be difficult for that to happen. Now, with that said, there's a very good chance that it happens anyway, because just because the technicals and perhaps the strength of the bulls and the bears are telling us one thing, that doesn't necessarily mean that's what's going to happen, guys. You always have to include a grain of salt in your technical analysis, because sometimes the market will do what you don't expect it to, and sometimes there's one technical telling you something else. And that would be the Bitcoin shorts, because despite everything that I just said, about the bears perhaps being a little stronger than the bulls, about Bitcoin perhaps not having the volume and the volatility and the strength to push upwards for another new bullish rally. Despite everything I just said, interestingly enough, over the last couple of days, we've seen Bitcoin shorts fall off an absolute cliff. We saw it happen once over here on February the 8th, over, uh, moving on into February the 10th, the shorts just crashed. And then here around 5 or 6 a.m. in the uh, 5 or 6 a.m., Eastern Standard Time, where in the time zone that I live in, Bitcoin shorts fell off the metaphorical cliff again. And we saw what I would call a blood fall. We saw a lot of valuation, a lot of shorts rather being uh, terminated. And we look here with our percentage move, that's about an 8% move in one hour. The total move is upwards of 10% reduction in shorts in the span of about five hours. And while that, not, that might not seem very major, when you're looking at the hourly chart, a 10% move this quickly is very important. So to see that happen might actually be a bullish thing for Bitcoin because all those shorts being liquidated, obviously someone is liquidating those shorts. And the people liquidating those shorts are probably bullish on Bitcoin, else they wouldn't have gotten rid of the short. Now, that's one side of the argument. But every time I talk about shorts, I have to include both sides of the argument because it can be interpreted two different ways. Another way that you can interpret that is that all those shorts were just liquidated, meaning a bunch of Bitcoin was bought, and still Bitcoin managed not to rally. In fact, in the time that Bitcoin was having all those shorts liquidated, Bitcoin was actually moving down rather than moving up. A lot of times when you see the, the market and the shorts chart moving in the same direction and they continue moving in the same direction, that's actually not a good thing. You want to see the chart move upwards when shorts are moving down or move downwards when shorts are moving up. That's what you want to see. You want to see the markets be inverse of each other. Those two charts be the inverse of each other. And recently we've seen Bitcoin shorts crash and Bitcoin has not rallied in response to that. Now, what you can also see from that, I'm going to move back to the first argument. Sometimes what that means is that those shorts, because what you have to realize about this chart is that this is not counting the valuation of these shorts. This is counting the number of shorts. So many of these shorts may not have been very large. Perhaps they were one Bitcoin or under in valuation on these shorts. So there wasn't a lot of Bitcoin being bought when these were being liquidated. Perhaps that's what perhaps that's what's happened here. But at the same time, you can also take into account that when all these Bitcoin shorts are being liquidated, like I said earlier, that means that some people are bullish in the market and perhaps there's going to be a bit of a delayed reaction where Bitcoin shorts, uh, where Bitcoin shorters who have kind of switched sides and turned into Bitcoin bulls and Bitcoin longers perhaps are going to come in and start buying Bitcoin over the next couple of days. I think guys, to basically sum up what's going on here, if Bitcoin does break out here and does start moving to the upside because of the natural, because of the nature of markets, if Bitcoin does start breaking bullish here, it's probably going to sustain and it'll probably move us a couple hundred dollars north, maybe up here to around $3,800. I've talked about price targets for this in a previous video, but if nothing major plays out, I'm slightly more bearish still at the moment. We're going to have to see what happens over that. Like I said, guys, these things change very quickly. Technical analysis on the hourly chart moves very quickly. Things, uh, Many things have changed in today's video as comparison to yesterday's video. It just so happens that my opinion stays somewhat similar. Anyway, guys, tell me in the comment section down below what you think about that. It's always kind of tense whenever you see Bitcoin moving sideways, just waiting to have a breakout that everyone knows is coming, but no one can for 100% certainty, with 100% certainty, predict which direction it's going to move. It's always interesting when you see those kind of things, and it is always very uh, climactic. Perhaps we're going to see Bitcoin just trade sideways for the next six months or something and never actually have a breakout. No, of course, that's probably not what's going to happen. 
Anyway, guys, tell me in the comment section down below what you think of today's video. Do you think that Bitcoin is going to go ahead and do a Bart? Do you think Bitcoin's uh, that? Do you think Bart's a new hat here? It's kind of cool. Do you think Bitcoin's going to break bullish? Do you think these falling shorts is indicative of anything? I didn't really talk about this, but do you think this little drop, this little like maybe one percent drop in the Bitcoin longs, is really indicative of anything? I didn't really think so. That's why I didn't include it. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about that technical analysis, guys. I would love to hear your opinions as always. Anyway, guys, that is basically going to do it for today's video. I do want to thank each and every single one of you for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.